they slipped out the front door without disturbing the people family. Okay, said Huggily. Now everyone start looking. The two friends searched everywhere. No pizza here, said Huggily. No pizza here, said Grubble. No pizza. Wait a minute, said Booter. I don't even know what pizza looks like. Hey, that's right, said Grubble. Neither do I. Don't worry, said Huggily. I'll know it when I see it. They crept down street after street, looking high and low. Suddenly, Huggily cried out, time for pizza. Before them was a brightly lit building. A sign on the roof glowed something round and flat. Looks like they found the pizza. But they won't be able to get it if they can't be seen. Keep going Justin. On tiptoes, the three friends peered through the window. Pizza a a a a a drooled Huggily. How do we get some ass grubble? We can't just walk in the front door. Let's look around back, Booter suggested. Behind the building they found a people machine with a large pizza on top. That's the biggest pizza I ever saw, said Huggily. The three of them scrambled onto the machine. Time for pizza, they all cheered, and started to chew. Clank. Ouch, said Booter. This pizza is kind of tough. I don't think I like it, muttered Grubble. Hey, this isn't real pizza said Huggily. Do all pizza trucks have a big pizza on top of them? I think it's just this one. But probably. At that moment, a door on the back of the building flew open, and a people person hurried out with a stack of large flap boxes. Everybody hide, Booter whispered. The people person jumped into the machine, dropped the boxes onto the seat beside him, and drove away fast. Very fast. Gee, I hope the people person didn't see them. So do I. His wheels screeched around corner after corner. All at once, he skidded to a stop. He grabbed the top box and jumped out. Is he gone? Hugly asked. I think so, said Booter. Hey, what smells so good? Hugly lifted the lid on the top box and licked his lips. Time for pizza, they cheered. Booter and Grubble both reached for a piece. Oh, I just remembered, said Hugly. Monsters aren't supposed to take people's stuff. I suppose that means we shouldn't eat people's stuff either. What? said Grubble. After all this we can't even taste it. <coughs> they went through all that trouble for nothing? Well he is right about one thing. Monsters shouldn't be taking people's stuff. Because that would be stealing. And stealing is bad. Keep going Justin.